It's where I hold my Zoom classes. It's where I do my Zoom meetings. It's where I keep all my homeschool supplies for my students. It's where I keep my own crafts. It's where I keep my sewing. And this keeps happening. I keep getting piles of new things. Um, mo the main reason for the piles is that I closed my store. I used to sell home goods and um, I'm sure I'll, I'll find some way to integrate into what I'm doing. I'm thinking of using these items for fundraisers for the school. But right now I had to bring everything home because the people there didn't respect COVID and I couldn't keep going in there. I, I wasn't going to get sick. The owner of the store already got sick and, and they still didn't care. So today I'm going to clean this room. <sighs> like some of these things in this closet, I'm going to have to send downstairs because I still have remnants of the costumes in here also because I make costumes for theater. And now my daughter's taking that over entirely because honestly, she's just a better customer than me. So I need to get all this stuff cleared up. And I need to get some more things in here sent downstairs so I have more space in here. Yeah, it's gonna be a day. Okay, so I Got the inventory onto hangers into the closet so that it's accessible when I go to do my fundraiser. And then I put the pillow inserts up high um, and the pillows that I'm now selling online are accessible there. <sighs> Still so much work to do. I gotta figure all this. Oh boy, what was I thinking? Well, all the piles are up. I have to get the garbage up now. Even the top is neater. Um, I haven't cleaned as in depth as I originally wanted, but everything is clean enough for me to now go through and clean it. Um, these two bins are going to the basement and this side has been um, Rearranged so that only sewing is on this side. I'm almost done. Okay, this took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. But it's because I did a good job. So let's go see the overview of the room and then I'll try to break it down. This is the overview of my home office slash craft room. Um, I use this room to teach via Zoom. I use this room to have meetings, and I use this room to sew, obviously. A sewing machine and a serger on the table. In the center is my um, little bag that I use when I'm going to sew something for someone. It's kind of a grab and go bag. It's got measuring tapes and needle and thread and stuff in it. Um, here, is just a decorative um, mannequin and it's hard to see because it's cage it's wire um, behind it is scrap fabrics and some mailers um, above it are some uh, letter boards that are on the wall for now just holding until we get our building for our homeschool program as is the art behind the serger I'm going to go ahead and just hang everything on the wall that I'm going to bring to the school when I get the school building. That way it doesn't get lost. Okay. Here's my, oh, this in the back corner is from the business that I'm closing. Um, I make custom pillow covers and that's going in the basement. And I think I'll bring that to the school too because we're teaching um, children how to start and run their own businesses. Um, underneath it is a sewing table with more sewing implements in it. Um, this um, light colored wood thing is all my different papers, cutting board on top, tower of tapes underneath, um, all pens and stationery. It's just a lot of small items that I like to keep track of. My desk is kind of a mess, but I cleaned it every few days, so I didn't really touch it today while I was cleaning. Um, I need to get a cord to have this monitor going. But yeah, this is how much um, I usually have going when I zoom. It's usually this 
put my face on it and then two screens here for me to research and pull up and share screens and stuff. Um, this is my chair, <laughs> my second chair. I have like six of them. I'm gonna bring a second one into the room. Um, this is a chair I sit in while I work. I'm going to get a rolling chair and this one's gonna go up to my makeup table. Here is the deal. This is why I cleaned the room today. Um, from the earlier picture, you saw that things were starting to pile up. This is where I keep all my homeschooling materials and supplies. I am not a homeschool parent anymore. My kids are 24 and 26. My son just had his birthday the other day. Um, but I teach homeschool students. And so I needed to get all my resource books. My friend gave me back all my resource books from that I had loaned her when I was done homeschooling. And now I have them back on the shelves because I use them with my students. The first section is personal papers, taxes and stuff. The second section is um, different binders. I, ke I keep papers in binders. Um, and then down the bottom is student records. All of this is student um, supplies, binders, things like that. A lot of news, crafts, things like that. And then up here are all my books. Let me show you this real fast. Um, I direct shows, so a lot of this is for directing, but I keep um, a lot of things in binders. It's easy for me. Um, these are my personal art books because I am an artist. Um, these are actually just novels, and those are going to go in a different section of the house. Um, these are novels that I read academically. This section is history. I teach history. This section is history. Uh, this sex is, section is some history. The books that are laying flat are the ones I need to read right now because I'm going to use them with the children. Um, on this side, there's a lot of... Where's my finger? There's a lot of um, test prep. This section is history. <laughs> and this section is language arts because I pair language arts with history. Did I say history enough times? I don't know. This is resource books. This is science. We do science competitions and things like that. We'll be doing labs at some point. Um, what's over here? This is basically just books about homeschooling. And these are business books. Um, down there is mailers and a big sewing basket. And then up here is some more theater stuff baskets. This is the entirety of my extended family's photo collection. I need to do photo albums. Um, paints. Um, that can go in the basement. Um, more assorted nice papers, baskets, and just some random personal things. Um, this corner is my broom and dustpan and just some assorted small tables and my carry bags that I use when I'm teaching a class in person. I grab whatever I'm going to need from the class. I have my own bathroom. Um, I, I use the tub to clean costumes. Or I did. Uh, I don't normally use this bathroom when I'm teaching. Or during the day. I, because my husband does Zoom calls in the next room. And I don't want inappropriate sounds. Here's the closet that I was working on. I kind of had to work on this closet to do the rest of the room. But I have it organized and everything reachable. Some more things will go in the basement, but right now I can live with this. I'm closing the door so that I can show you what people see um, when I'm on Zoom. They see my head usually in the middle um, where the photos are, or sometimes my body's in front of the store. Um, I'm gonna take that scarf and that apron down, but I'm gonna leave my two favorite Betsy Johnson purses hanging on the door. Um, here's a third sewing machine. The pillow in front of it is just the kind of thing that I made um, for the business that I closed. This is sewing machine is older than my mama. Okay. This is a piece of art by a local artist. My college degree. Um, just a little wall calendar. I have a doctor's appointment every Monday morning because I have physical issues that need constant therapy. And I teach midday, Tuesday, and Thursday. 
Uh, this is, I'm going to just leave it there. Those are books and supplies for the students for when we have our own space. This bag is full of face masks that I was sewing. This is full of face masks, and I'm going to finish them all because when I meet kids in person, we're probably going to use those for a while, whenever that happens. All the rest of this is art supplies, and that is my office. Um, many people wouldn't call this clean, but if you saw the before picture, you know what I'm talking about. And now I can go through every single bin carefully and sort things carefully and um, so that I know where every single item is and put labels on the white bins. I did do one bin in depth today and I'll show you that. It's from the sewing section. So I have three shoe boxes of buttons and trim and then the fourth one of just ribbons and then more buttons down there in that corner. So that's the kind of organization that has to be done in each and every bin. Um, but everything is kind of where it goes. And I'm super pleased with myself right now. So, um, homeschool parents. Um, and this is the same kind of organization that I used when I was actively homeschooling. We, with the exception of the first two years, we didn't homeschool in a homeschool room. Um, about two years into homeschooling, my husband's job situation changed. And he kicked us out of the room we were using because he needed a home office. So after that, I put the same kind of system in the guest bedroom. And I just had a wall of books and supplies the whole 10 or so years we were homeschooling. And we just homeschooled from wherever, but we knew where everything was and where to put everything back. That is all. Till next time.